So let's let's move to the Liberty Bowl. UTSA, the UT San Antonio Roadrunners, are headed into Memphis, and they will be playing the Memphis Tigers. Both teams three and both teams have a win over a Power Five school. Memphis, of course, beat Mississippi State last week in controversial fashion, and UTSA went on the road and beat Illinois uh, just a couple weeks ago. It's sincere McCormick. Rocking and rolling, running the football. Frank Harris Jr., the quarterback for UTSA, he is looking really, really good as well. I I will also tell you this. Seth Hennigan, the freshman quarterback for Memphis, when when Grant Gunnell went down with an injury, who was supposed to be the starting quarterback transfer in from Arizona, when he went down, I thought this season was shot for Memphis. And they, Seth Hennigan is now the number 23 quarterback in the country per uh, quarterback rating, and he has looked outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. This Tigers offense has got some heavy hitters on it. They've got some playmakers. I worry about this defense. I don't think that they can stop the run, which was not an issue against Mississippi State, but they they certainly have had issues. I'm, I'm curious here. My line was six. Memphis is favored by three, total of 66 and a half. My line initially was Memphis minus six. Man, I have gone back and and watched so I watched UTSA against Middle Tennessee and I went through and watched you know the 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 highlight plays all that kind of stuff just to to see how that game went and of course I watched UTSA against Illinois I, I UTSA has covered five straight games and their defense can match up with Memphis's offense I think and I don't know that Memphis can stop the running game of UTSA so I I think I'm going to go UTSA here plus the 3 like I that that's against my own number but I, I kind of feel like UTSA has got something cooking here. I'll uh, I'll roll with Jeff Trailer and the boys. Trust your numbers. Trust the math. Trust the Tigers, baby. Memphis is going <laughs> to find some magic in the Liberty Bowl. I can I can buy it. I can buy it. I I mean those playmakers, man. That, that's what scares you is at any point Calvin. They're Austin just so the explosive. I, yeah. They can score from any point of the field. If you got them at their own half yard line, don't worry. They can take that thing ninety nine and a half yards in one snap. Yes. Yes, they really can. They can. So I, I'm going to trust UTSA. You're rolling Memphis. Hey, this is the first pick em where we have really kind of gone head-to-head on most of these. And and I like it. Yeah, we've gone head-to-head on a lot. Yeah. So yeah. I think, uh, let's see, it looks four out of the six already we have gone head-to-head on. Different than, than the last couple of weeks. Uh, last week, we only had two that we disagreed on. So this is this is a little bit better. A little, a little more argumentative, I guess. I, I appreciate that. I, I don't know that it's better. You know, that, well, you if never we know. won all those ones that we agreed on last week, then that's fine. <laughs> you, uh, you're not wrong. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.